Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how I made this wall mount for instruments. It is not only beautiful, but it's very functional as well. I will be showing you the materials I used and how I made it. Um, I'll link what I can in the uh, description below, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, real quick, so before I show you how I made them, I just wanted to go over quickly the different tools and materials that I used to put these together. So for my base, I just used, uh, so the actual dimensions of this piece, um, I believe it was pine, it's five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall, and um, approximately, let me get it pulled up here, three-eighths of an inch thick so I wanted something thin so it didn't look too bulky on the wall so five and a half by seven and a half by three-eighths of an inch thick um, for my trim and for the actual uh, wood design pieces that I used for this I just used some lattice repair board that I got um, at my local Lowe's they sold it in a bundle I liked how um, how thin it was it wasn't very thick and if I show you real quick as a comparison, it's about half the size of the baseboard. So uh, just something you can find that's thin, maybe it's paint sticks or uh, something like that. Just a thin wood um, that is about an inch across. I did have to run these through the uh, my table saw just because they were a little wider than I wanted them. So I got them narrowed down to an inch wide and they worked perfect for this project. Um, let's see what else. I used this, um, just some chalk paint that I had come from Walmart. Um, and then I also used this, this white paint, this acrylic paint from Walmart. Uh, did a fine job too. Um, the stain, I don't really know where this stain came from, but I thought it was a pretty color and we just had it around the house. So that's what I used, but you can use any stain or stain color that you like for this project. Um, I did use, uh, I needed some wood glue to secure down my design pieces. Once I got them where I wanted them, just glued them on and I'll show you that in the video later on. And then let them sit for at least 24 hours before sawing off my raw edges. Um, and I got these, so the actual wall mounts, uh, the actual instrument uh, mounts, I got these from Amazon. I'll link those in the description below. Um, they did come with some screws already but they're honestly just too uh they're not long enough by the time you put this on the base and then have to drive through the drywall to the stud they just weren't long enough so i got these two and a half inch um uh screws to use for the project that i had just just around the house and then moving on i did use uh, i needed a drill to drill the pilot holes um for getting this set on once i got it in place then I used the sander to sand down any rough edges that I had on my design pieces. And I used a nail gun to screw in the trim um, once I got that into place. And I just uh, I just did one in the center, one on each side. So three on each side to secure the, the outside trim. Um, that made it look really nice. And not shown, uh, again, I used, a, uh, I used a table saw and I also used a miter saw. And then just again, all of these angles. So once I got my design, they're all 45 degree angles that I cut. So um, just however you wanna do your, uh, your project, if you wanna mimic the way I did mine, that's great. But I mean, you can set it any way and just fit them however you want to, but 45 degree cuts and just place them to the where they fit them together. That's how I did mine anyways. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for my wood base, I went ahead and got the center of my board, which uh, uh, half of five and a half was two and three quarter inch. Um, so I've got that lined out and then I went up uh, two and a half inches and drew another line from the bottom to be able to gauge where I want my pattern to start. And this is also where I'm going to put the center of the instrument bracket um, just because I want the the top of the guitar piece um, where you or you tune it in to kind of show on this background here um, so I'll show you what I mean later on but um, that's that's kind of how I've got it drawn out and so next what I'll be doing is cutting um, 
my actual design pieces out and so all you do for this you just make sure that you've got your blade uh, your saw turned to the 45 degree angle these will all be 45 degree cuts and I'll show you how I make my design doing that All right, so now I have uh, roughly gotten everything put into place. Um, like I had said, just still gonna have to come around and cut out the excess pieces where I went up too high, but I think this is a cute design. I think it's gonna look adorable once it's painted. All right, so now I've got those edges uh, trimmed off and it looks nice and uh, smooth on the sides. I am gonna go over the front uh, one last time with the uh, sander just to um, you know, smooth out those rough edges and then I'll be ready to, to paint and stain and then add them the trim. And I think this is gonna look so cute, you guys. Okay, so here it is, finally finished with the design and the trim pieces, and now I just need to get it hung on the wall um, by getting some screws to go through this, go through this, and then put the instrument onto it as well.